Tonight from Sam Houston High School, AISD TV presents a District 3 5A matchup, the city's oldest rivalry, the Sam Houston Texans and the Arlington Colts. Hi again, everyone. John Nelson on hand. The Arlington Colts averaging 48 points in district play. Sam Houston averaging 42. The Texans come in having won two in a row. It's Bowie and Martin deadlocked for first with a week and a half to go in the regular season. Lamar all alone in three. North Crowley and Pascal in a two-way tie for fourth. Arlington coming off a three-point loss to Weatherford last week. Chris Washington, Bobby Green, Hensley, Omidy Yagby, Isaiah Hollins, and William Davis, the starting five for Sam Houston. For Arlington High, it'll be Chris Barrett, Mike Howell, Tim Nelson, Dalen Campbell, and Delonte Brown. Arlington guided by first-year coach Paul Williams. He was at Mansfield. And Chris Legrand in his second year guiding the Sam Houston Texans. Sam Houston coming off a seven-point win earlier this week in a game you saw at Lamar. And we are just about set. Arlington 2-8, Sam Houston 2-8 in district play. And back with the opening tip-off from Sam Houston right after this. And we're back at Sam Houston. The Arlington Colts in a road black with green numbers and green trim. Kind of a lime green look. And Sam Houston in the home white with royal blue numbers and red trim. And we're just about set. The Arlington Colts last year missing the playoffs by one game. They were six and eight in district play last year. In the jump circle for Arlington High, it'll be 6'4 junior Dalen Campbell for Sam Houston. Number 32, 6'1 junior Isaiah Hollins. It is tipped and it comes to Arlington. They go left to right. The first half, Chris Barrett. Arlington led in scoring by Tim Nelson, averaging 11 points a game. Mike Howell, who just shot, averaging 10. And the first miss. And this one battled away by Barrett. The outlet pass intended for Bobby Green. At side court, it'll be Chris Washington to inbound. Sam Houston led in scoring by Chris Washington. As they break wide open and an easy, well, it's missed. Bobby Green misses an easy layup off the inbounds pass. Somehow got wide open in the lane. Chris Barrett, second possession for Arlington. Sam Houston is giving up 51 points this year in district play. Arlington allowing 61. Tim Nelson drops it off down low and off the glass. Dalen Campbell. Second possession for the Texans. They go outside to Oma Diagbe. Puts it on the floor, fronted by Barrett. Number 34 will try a three. That is William Davis, he misses. Here's Chris Barrett, front court, and took the extra step as he turns it over in front of Hensley Oma Diagbe. Offensively in district play, Sam Houston averaging 44. In it comes to Hensley, the junior. Wants to go to the right side, and he does. Bobby Green is in the corner inside, and Washington is hit hard. Chris Washington, as he's helped up. Our game's first foul coming a minute and 18 seconds in. Non shooting foul, William Davis to play it in underneath him to the right of the Arlington goal. He looks and gives it on the short side to Chris Washington. Washington misses. Rebound reeled in by Dalen Campbell. Arlington won the first game. 57-47. Tim Nelson had 16 points that first game. He just shoots and hits a three. 6-6 senior. It's a 5-0 Arlington lead. The 
Again, the Texans have won two in a row. Wins over North Crowley by three, by seven over Lamar. Davis, 5'10", junior, picked up at the top of the key by Nelson. Goes left side to Omidiagbe. Can't get lane penetration and palmed it. Turns it over. And a timeout taken by Chris Legrand and the Sam Houston Texans with 5.50 to go in the first quarter. Well, congratulations to the District 3 5 8 swimming champions, Coach John Ivan and the Martin Warriors and the Martin Lady Warriors winning the 3A Boys and Girls District Swimming Championships. All six teams will compete in the regionals on February 7th and the 8th. The 3 5 a competition will be at the Pete Regas Aquatic Center in Lubbock. And the 15 4A meet will be at the Mansfield Natatorium. Basketball wise over in District 15 4A. The Seguin Cougars and Mansfield Lake Ridge battling for that fourth playoff spot. And of course here in 3-5A, it's Martin and Bowie tied for first at nine and one. Kicked away by Obadiagni. Colts get it back. Mike Howell in the corner. Knocked away by Chris Washington. Texans this year in district play could easily be five and three. They have lost three games by a combined total of eight points. Mike Hall is shut down. Goes cross court to Barrett. Inside as Dalen Brown misses, or Delante Brown at 6'1 and a senior. Texans still looking for their first points. William Davis shoots over Nelson, misses. Rebound, 6'4", Dalen Campbell. In traffic is Barrett, stops. And kind of off balance, but Mike Howell was hit from behind. Team foul number one on Sam Houston, a Mike Cal at the line. 6'2", senior, averaging 10 points. Had 20 points in his last game and a loss to Weatherford. Colts losing 61-58. And the follow-up stays in. The drive by William Murray, and Murray goes up and comes down about as hard as he went up the foul on Tim Nelson, his first. And William Murray at the stripe, 5'9", senior. And still looking for point number one. Well, Sam Houston missing a chance to get some critical points here with 4.36 to go in the first quarter. Colts leading by six, trying to pad the lead with a three. It's short. Mike Howe, the putback is not. <laughs> Marco Washington in the game, number 22 for Sam Houston. This is Chris Washington. Chris will let it fly from 20. DeMarco trying to save it, picked up by William Murray. He misses and runs it down in front of Arlington's bench.
Hensley. And now DeMarco, DeMarco from the top of the key misses a three. Texans have not scored here in the first four minutes and 23 seconds. Nelson misses a three. Rebound yanked down by DeMarco Washington. Pull up Jay from about eight. Murray misses and Sam can't buy a bucket. Two on two in transition. Mike Howell. It is 10-0 Arlington. Under three minutes to go in the first quarter. Down low, Omadi Agbe. He misses wide left, hit the bottom of the glass and off of DeMarco Washington underneath. And what a start, what a dream start for Arlington. Delonte Brown comes out, number 15. In for the Colts, Marcus Watson, number five, a six-foot senior. Watson's on the left wing. A floater. Mike Howe with a floater. His fifth point. And the Colts lead by a dozen. Not a good start for Sam Houston. Hensley Omadiagbe working on Barrett. Stops, gives it to Chris. Chris Washington tries to muscle inside and is fouled, team foul number three on the Colts. Foul is on Mike Howell and it puts Sam Houston underneath. Was not in the act of shooting. And they're gonna make a change Chris LeGrand inserting Jordan Carson, number 10. He'll inbound. Carson on the wing. Washington circles to the left side. Now takes Delonte inside and is fouled. Delonte Brown charged with a foul. This is a shooting foul with exactly two minutes to play in the first quarter. Chris Washington, 6'3 senior, had 18 points against the Colts in the first game. And there is the first point of the game for Sam. They went six minutes without scoring. Backcourt press, lead pass intended for Barrett. And that was thrown away with a minute 55 to go in the first quarter. And at 37, ball in the hands of Washington that gets rid of it. DeMarco, there he is again. He's fronted by Tim Nelson. They've got a push away from the action. Sam gets it back. Inbounds pass battled away. It was Chris Barrett that deflected it. Twelve two, Colts with the lead and the ball. Barrett looking for Dalen Campbell underneath. Outside they go, here's Tim Nelson. They start the five second count on Nelson, gets rid of it. Minute to go in the quarter. Barrett leaves his feet, a jump pass in the corner. Nelson misses a free. Rebound, number 21, Hensley Omadiagbe. 
Gets it ahead to DeMarco or to uh, number 32 who fills it up. Isaiah Hollins, he stops and pops and Hollins makes it 12-4. Barrett picked up by Hensley. Turns in trouble and timeout taken with 28 seconds left in the first quarter. Go the eighth grade boys basketball championship will take place on Saturday, February 8th, 3.30 in the afternoon at Seguin. Young winning the big zone A, Carter winning the big zone B, Owsley winning the little zone A, Gunn in command right now in the little zone B. 3.30 at Seguin High, the boys eighth grade city basketball championship on Saturday, February 8th. Here at San Houston, it's a 12-4 Arlington lead. Week and a half left in boys play. Arlington closes out the season at North Crowley and a turnover. Chris Barrett not initiating much and turns it over. Colts close out the year at North Crowley on February 11th. Again, both teams two and eight in district play. Really hounding Hensley Omadiagbe in a double dribble. So the Colts forced a turnover on the double dribble, nine seconds left in the quarter. Pass caught on the run by Barrett. He shoots and he scores. Barrett with five seconds left in the quarter is fouled and count it. Barrett coming off a 16 point game in his last outing against Weatherford. He's at the line and a chance to make it 15 4. There it is. He sticks it with three seconds. Three pointer on the way. Chris Washington, he drains a three at the buzzer. At the end of the first quarter, our score, Arlington 15, the Sam Houston Texans seven. John Nelson back with our AISD crew here at Sam Houston at the corner of Billy Stewart Drive and Sam Houston Drive. Sam Houston's possession. In search of points, they need a tub full to get back in this game. Shut down at the free throw line is William Davis. He taps it ahead to Bobby Green. Green will be back next year. Six foot junior, the handoff to Chris Washington. Washington, the senior, shoots and is fouled in the same process. Chris Washington with 23 points in the game earlier this week against Lamar. And Washington connects. Chris had 29 this year and a two point loss to Bowie. He's had some nice games. Nelson waiting and lays it up and in. The senior's fifth point, it is 17-10. William Davis looking, now gets it at the top of the key and the return feed to Davis. Davis with a nice cut and is fouled. Foul on Dalen Campbell. Team foul number seven. And William Davis at the line, 5'10 junior. Texans losing Murray, Marshall, Nolan, and Chris Washington this year. 17-12. 
Well, a five point contest. A minute into the second quarter. Chris Barrett behind Howe. Back to Barrett. Takes it in, shoots from eight, misses. Caught underneath by Bobby Green. Now the Texans could make it a three point game. Same play, and that one missed by Chris. They get it back. Same play that sent Davis to the line about a minute ago. Davis off balance underneath. May have been influenced by Tim Nelson at 6-6. Here's Nelson on the other end. He's held to the floor by Hollins. Second team foul for Sam Houston. Six six senior Tim Nelson at the line, averaging 11 a game. Had 18 this year and a loss to Lamar. Number 15, Delonte Brown in for the Colts. And he replaces Dalen Campbell. He cans them both. Nelson had 16 in the first meeting at the Colt Gym on the run, filling it up. Davis, William Davis, 19-14. Sam with seven points this quarter, and the Colts with four. Cross court to Barrett. On the other wing is Mike Cow. Barrett puts it on the floor, leaves it in the corner, and it is a three. Marcus Watson, six foot senior, makes it 22 14 Colts. Oma Diagbe with a scoop to the hoop. And the lead at six. Al, right hash mark, looking over to head coach Paul Williams. Backing away or trying to from William Davis. Passes to Barrett. Under five minutes to go in the first half. Al shoves it to Barrett. And Barrett comes away from Bobby Green. Now goes left side, takes it in, misses. Rebound, Delonte Brown. Up top is Barrett. Colts averaging 48 points in district play this year. Shane Houston giving up 51. Inside, it's short. Watson. A little short in transition. Oma Diagbe with his back to the glass misses. Chris Washington trying to save it. Taken away by Howe. On the drive, Barrett. Chris Barrett, he'll be back next year. He and Dalen Campbell. Christian Grady, 24-16. Colts jumped out to a 12-0 lead. Turning no shot for Hollins. Outside, Davis will try to hit a three, and he does. William Davis, the junior, with his seventh point. And the three-pointer makes it 24-19. Baseline right underneath. And Watson is fouled as soon as he pulls the trigger. Foul is going to be on Isaiah Hollins, his second non-shooting foul. It's team foul number four. Tim Nelson giving the pellet, gets it inbounds to Barrett. 
And Barrett is shoved at the top of the key by Oma Diagni. Well, that is team foul number five. A former Bowie volunteer and a former UTA Maverick is on the staff here at Sam Houston. Jared Howe ran into Jared before tonight's game. Played professionally in Europe a number of years. Inbounds pass, Sam Houston has it. Chris Washington. Nicely done. And Chris in double figures, it is 24-21. Open underneath and a nice pass given to Dalen Campbell. Caught St. Houston flat-footed underneath. Open from the three-point line. Number five, Bobby Green. I think he tore the net off. <laughs> the net came away from one of the hooks. 26-24, Sam Houston with its second three-pointer. And slowly getting back in this game, having trailed at the outset 12-0. Arlington's district wins this year coming against Weatherford. They won that game by four. They won the first meeting against Sam by 10. And it is the house of Texans basketball. A week and a half left in the regular season in District 3-5A. This series is the oldest in the city. First played back in 1967, the Colts and the Texans. The days of Dale Archer and Robert Gill and David Clyde. Great players and great games down through the years. Chris Barrett, mid-court, trying to get away from Oma Diagbe. Underneath, Howell took the shot. Here's Sam Houston with a chance to tie it up and not on this trip down. They give it right back to the Colts. Mike Howell front court pulls up. Watson. Watson working on Bobby Green. Goes up. Green reached in. He tied him up. Colts maintain possession. leading by a deuce. Tim Nelson to play it in. Tried to bounce it one time and Chris Washington kicked it away. Tried to feed Chris Barrett. And Mike Howell in the corner. Now there's team foul number six. Colts have 17 fouls. Open on the inbounds pass and a three-pointer and counted. A possible four-point play. Mike Howell is fouled. The three-pointer goes. It is 29-24. You see it maybe two or three times a year. A three-point basket and a foul. Mike Howell misses. Colts lead by five. Under two minutes to go in the half. Bobby Green to Chris Washington. Underneath, hit the bottom of the rim. Ahead to Mike Howell. Nobody there. Howell with a jump pass. Hoping for a black jersey in the corner and it was vacated. Minute 35 to go in the first half. Chris right side to Bobby Green. Green misses. Rebound, Mike Howell. 
Here's Barrett. Cross court to Tim Nelson. Nelson takes it in closer. That one hangs on the rim. And Sam Houston has it with a minute seven to go in the half. William Davis with a drive. And Davis with a somersault roll. It's a good sign, gets right back up. For the Colts, team foul number eight. And Davis at the line with seven points. Checking in for the Colts, Christian Grady, number 10. So here's Davis's second free throw attempt. Sights it, shoots it, gets it. 29-25 with a minute to go in the half. Nelson left hash mark. Christian Grady, one of the guards at 5'9 and a junior. This is Chris Barrett. And the Colts content to take the last shot. Or at least in theory, we've got 38 seconds to go. Start to count on Barrett, 30 seconds. Has a look, see at the top of the key and works it back out in front of Green. 23 seconds. Changes hands on Barrett. Bounces out underneath from behind the glass. Missed, 14 seconds. Colts come away with it, Watson. And Watson and William Davis collide. Team foul number eight. It puts Marcus Watson at the strike. Six foot senior with a chance to make it 31 25. And the lead at five. Stays out, pulled down by Bobby Green. Green hands it off to Chris Washington. So Washington's three misses. Rebound underneath, nicely done. Antonio Nolan. Nolan got the uh, catch on the other side, tried to go up, and was fouled hard. Antonio Nolan at the line, 6'2 senior. And misses the first. The lead stays at five. It's short. Rebound, Chris Washington at the buzzer. Washington getting the rebound. Was able to get a shot off. And the official comes over to the scorer's table. We've got to indicate exactly what to do and what to do is to put up the two points for Chris Washington. So the basket is good and the Colts take a three point lead into the locker room. It is halftime. Our score, Arlington 30, San Houston 27. And we're set to go in half number two at San Houston High. John Nelson on hand. Hope you've enjoyed our volleyball and basketball coverage this year. Texans operate from left to right. They trail by three to begin the second half. Bobby Green angles to the right side, drops it off down low. Isaiah Hollins can't shoot. This one may come down to free throws earlier tonight. Sam Houston defeated the Lady Colts by three and free throws were crucial down the stretch. Isaiah Hollins misses at the free throw line for Sam Houston's first possession. Here's a throw away picked off by Bobby Green. Sam gets it right back. Nothing right now lost after the missed shot. Chris Washington goes underneath. 14 for the senior. It's a one-point game at 30-29. 
Tim Nelson gets it back from Barrett. Now Nelson will try to hit a three and miss, and the one picked off at the free throw line by Oma Diagbe. Hensley gives to Hollins. Inside closer underneath and Nelson fouling Bobby Green. Or check it, it's on Campbell, not Nelson, Dalen Campbell. What it does is put Bobby Green at the line and a chance for the Texans to leave for the first time. Sam Houston, six of 12 tonight in foul shooting. Missed them both. Rebound, Dalen Campbell. My Cal with eight points in the first quarter. Back out to Barrett, wide open, misses a three. Campbell backing away, gets the rebound and the putback. Delonte Brown. Delonte Brown tying out Sam Houston. The Arlington lead now at three. I'd like to pass along our congrats to the three 5A district wrestling champions, Coach Patrick Dunn and the Martin Warriors. They won the 3-5A Boys District Championship. Coach Amy McNeese and the Lady Texans of Sam winning the 3-5A Girls District Championship. All six teams competing in the regionals on February 1st at 8 a.m. The 15-4A tournament at Frisco Heritage, the 3-5A tournament at Arlington High. And don't forget, National Signing Day, making the right choice on February 5th. You can watch it live beginning at 8 a.m. on AISD.net. You can click on that site, and it'll take you to a link. Always a uh, big deal for the seniors signing their letters of intent to the various colleges and universities and all of the sports in the AISD. Over the ugly, almost, well, he does roll it over to Davis. On the exchange, here's Marshall, Kenneth Marshall. Marshall's first action, his first floor time. Block shot, Hollins got it off, the Colts block it. Both teams two and eight in district. Colts won the first game by 10. They took both games last year. Ball handed to Mike Howe, gets it over to cross court, Barrett. Campbell to Dalen Brown with a floater, misses. Off the floor, contact, no foul. Chris Washington ends up with it. Washington on Brown, takes him inside. Nelson blocked it. Ahead to Barrett. One working on two, Barrett off the glass. Nine for the junior. 34-29. Texans came to within one. Not scored since that 30-29 score. Foul underneath on the shot attempt. Team foul number two on the Colts and it puts number three, Chris Washington at the line. Thirty-four, thirty. Number one, William Murray. 5-9 senior on. Yeah. 
Got them both, 34, 31. 16 points for Chris Washington. Barrett drifts over the midcourt strike. Goes over to Barrett. Nelson, back up top. Bounce back out. It'll be Barrett, he's short. Got the feed from Dalen Campbell. Arlington gets it back. Tim Nelson from 22. Off the floor, Nelson inside the drive. Misses Tiffin, number 40, Dalen Campbell. Campbell with his sixth point. It is 36-31. Four games for one with a tip in rather than the long three-pointer. And Kenneth Marshall down low with Chris Barrett. Stoppage of play here. Kenneth Marshall comes out. And it comes to Bobby Green. Texans down by five. 3.15 to go in the third. Colts led 30-27 at halftime. Ball jarred loose inside. It got away from Antonio Nolan. Open, Howell gonna take it closer. Mike Howell. In double figures with 10, coming off a 20-point game, 38-31. A deficit at seven. William Davis from behind, knocked loose. It was Mike Howell that dislodged it. Nolan, they want to travel and a tie-up. Colt ball with two and a half minutes to go in the third. How looking, sends it ahead to Barrett. Barrett steps around Bobby Green. He'll take it in himself. High off of the window. 11 points for Barrett. And the lead at nine. Chris Washington tries to drive around Nelson. At the Colts with a foul. Comes with 2.03 to go in the third. Deep pass caught by Omidy Ogby. Shoots over Campbell, misses. Rebound Tim Nelson. Cross court. The middleman is Barrett. Down the sideline to Mike Howell. Minute 29 to go. Wrap around pass. On the run from the free throw line, the miss. Kicked out of bounds off of Tim Nelson. Sam's ball with a minute 18 to go in the third. Number five, Marcus Watson. In for Tim Nelson, who leaves with seven points. Bounce pass caught just in play by Bobby Green, and then Green trying to send it back somewhere, able to call timeout. Was in trouble, but able to call a timeout with 61 seconds left in this third quarter. 
As they bring him back at side court, Bobby Green to play it in for Sam Houston. He'll be fronted by Christian Brady, number 10. Under a minute, Hensley Omadiagli left of the lane, stops and shoots and fills it up from eight feet out. His fourth point, 40-33. Colts with three fouls in this second half. The Texans have not committed one. Brady stops. Now able to work a pass in the middle. Hand off to Howell. 17 seconds. Howell throws up a Ball that comes hard off of the glass. Sam Houston can make it a four point game. Seven seconds, they drop it down low to Chris Washington. Two seconds from just inside mid court, he hits the top of the glass as Mike Howell let it fly. We go to the fourth, the Colts leading Sam Houston 40 35. And we're set to go. Number three, Chris Washington, right in front of the Sam Houston Texan, long, tall Texan. And there's the state of Texas, outlined just inside of midcourt. William Davis, he'll get to Omadiagli, who in turn hands off to Bobby Green. Left side to Green, inside, no opening for Davis. Hensley in front of Nelson and not much of a chance when you have 6-6 six, six on 5-9, locked out of bounds. Quickly they put it back into play to Hollins. And Dalen Brown intervenes. get Sam Houston with a foul. That is their first of this half. Colts outscoring the Texans 10 to 8 in the third quarter. Inside and from behind Washington blocking Marcus Watson's attempt. height advantage, Chris at 6'3", and Marcus at six feet. It'll be given to Chris Barrett. As they scatter, Dalen Brown. Here's Barrett working on Omidiagbe. Barrett and almost a five second call and Paul Williams sensing that. Takes a timeout. Entering the last week and a half of district play on the boys' side, Converse Judson, number one in the state in Class 5A. The Volunteers of Bowie this week ranked 15th. Bowie and Martin tied for first at 9 and 1 in the district. So the Colts coming off a loss to Weatherford by three. Hoping to win their third district game of the year. Sam Houston having won their last two. Also hoping to notch district win number three. There's the Colt side behind us at Sam Houston High. The double horseshoe. Now the difference between that and the Indianapolis Colt horseshoe, there are seven holes in the Indianapolis horseshoe. There are five in the Colt horseshoe, five holes. <laughs> in fact, they had the horseshoe before the Baltimore Colts had it in the mid fifties. They were the first. Here's Chris Barrett trying to bounce it down low. 
Nelson separated from the ball and a turnover. Down the rail to Green. Back outside. Just underway in the fourth quarter. Handoff on the exchange. Bobby Green, and we got an elbow, I think, on uh, Hollins. Isaiah Hollins. It is. Team foul number two. Hollins with his third foul. Colt leading by a nickel. Mike Howell driving on green. Up top to Campbell. Delonte turns and he was pushed. Well, Isaiah Hollins just picks up his fourth foul. He has to come out. You would think, yeah, Nolan's gonna come in right before the inbounds pass. Isaiah Hollins to the bench with four fouls and a couple of points. Number three, Mike Howell to play it in. Colts with three three-pointers tonight. Sam Houston also with three. Behind Campbell's pick, and Howell shoves it up and draws a foul with 5.45 to go in the game. Foul is on Bobby Green, it'll be his second, and it puts Mike Howell at the line. Colts five of seven tonight in foul shooting. 11 points for Mike Howell, came in averaging 10. Drops them both in the well as the net becomes hung up. Colts leading by seven. They led 12-0. Sam Houston got his first point with two minutes left in the first quarter with a drive by Oma Diagbe and Hensley, the junior with his sixth point. Texans have never led. Barrett stops, shoves it up. Rebound Howell. And Howell hit in the act of shooting by Oma Diagbe. Team foul number five on the Texans. And Mike Howell back at the free throw strike. to follow up, in and out of the cup. Chris Washington underneath, short. And the ball tipped to Nelson. Lead pass, Barrett pulls it down, goes left hand. 13 for Barrett, timeout. Sam Houston, the Colts open up a lead of seven. 4.38 to go in the contest. Arlington leading by seven on the year. They are four and 17. Trying to snap Sam Houston's two game winning streak. It'll be Bobby Green to play it in. Moving up court with it is Hensley over the Agni. Underneath around one, around two, and Bobby Green draws the foul. It's a fourth on Arlington. Mike Howell 
charged with a foul. It puts Bobby Green at the line. He's 0 for 2. Forty-four thirty-eight. And the follow-up. Slides off. Nelson undercut. Nelson cut down trying to get to the ball. Off of Sam Houston. It went off of Hensley. Howell with a lead pass to Barrett. Going to have to get rid of it, and he does to Howell. Three pointer not there, almost tipped in by a couple of players. Front court, Chris Washington. Washington drives, and Washington shouldered down hard by Delonte Brown. Team foul number five on the Colts. Puts Chris Washington at the line. He has not missed. A perfect five for five. 19 points. Coming off a 23 point game and a loss to Lamar, or the win to Lamar. Texans won that game 39 32. The lead at Four, and they surround Barrett, trying to move it up court, or at least find a teammate. The Texan foul, that gives them six. 349 left in the game. Chris Barrett, back to play. Delonte Brown, Brown, as soon as he got the feed, Chris Washington right there to hold him. And it puts Delonte Brown at the line. A whistle frenzy in the last couple of minutes. That's the front end of a one and one. 45-40. And the bonus bags it. Forty-six forty. Colts lead by six. Chris Washington trying to reduce that number, and he does. Nice soft jumper. It's a four-point game. Chris Washington now with twenty-two points. Mike Howell off the glass, misses. Rebound, Washington falls down, able to get it to Bobby Green. 3-10 to go. Colts by four. Over Diagbe around uh, Daylon and Antonio Nolan right there. Dropped it off, he scores 46-44, under three minutes. Delonte jarred loose of the ball off of Sam Houston. Last touch by Sam Houston's DeMarco Washington. Paul Williams is going to pull Dalen or Delonte Brown and Marcus Washington into the guard. To Nelson off the inbounds pass. Foul from behind by DeMarco Washington, and the basket goes. Nicely done, nicely set up. And a basket of one for 6'6", six, six senior Tim Nelson. Nine points. The lead at four. All 
Arlington leads by five, 226 to play. Inside to Nolan, he goes up as challenged by Dalen Campbell, Antonio Nolan foul. And at the line, 6'2 senior Antonio Nolan. to make it a three-point game. <laughs> 2 15 to go. Colts by a trade. Marcus Watson. Watson floats one up. It's short. Caught underneath by DeMarco Washington. Here's Bobby Green, under two minutes. Green drives and scores. Bobby Green all the way. 49-48. Marcus Washington and a timeout taken by head coach Paul Williams. 144 to go. And the Colts nursing a one-point lead. The Texans have never led. While we have time, we want to thank our crew all season long. Burn, Mr. Rocksteady up top. Kurt, also up top, always looking for the hero shot. Anna's here crunching the numbers, and the man with a chicken soup wisdom, Spence. Hey, we leave nothing to chance. That's OJ, our athletic director, OJ Kemp, who truly leaves nothing to chance. This one coming right down to the wire. At halftime, it was Arlington by three. They led by five, heading into the fourth quarter. Couple of players in foul trouble for San Houston Hollins. Mike Howell for the Colts. And Howell is uh, Asked to inbounds at side court. He'll play it in. It comes to Chris Barrett. On the side to Marcus Watson. Watson all the way to midcourt circle. Fires it over to Barrett. Minute 26 to go in the game. Barrett forced deep and a five second call. Exactly what the Texans wanted. A five second call, the turnover with 1.22 to go. Colts calling it. Well, they were right on the verge as Barrett. Heard the whistle at the same time. And it's still a one point game. He was points the Colts have scored in district this year. They scored 37 twice and came in averaging well right at their number at 48 and a half points a game. But they have, uh, they've had some low games scoring wise this year. San Houston, they've been in the 30s three times, four times make it. Well, apparently no five second call. So in reevaluating things, the timeout called and Barrett, I bet he didn't have a half a second before he was about to be whistled. So the Colts maintain possession. Mike Howell to inbounds. 
And throws it up and is caught by Campbell. Jalen Campbell works it over to Barrett. Minute 14 to go. Colts by one. Barrett leaves it for Watson. Gives to Howe. One minute to go to the floor and out of bounds. Marcus Watson right at the sideline stripe. Sam Houston right there to force it away. Last touch by the Texans, so Arlington again with a little bit of a lucky break there. Tossed into Barrett. On the side and out of the middle. In trouble. Getting it over to Nelson. Short tip to Howe. 40 seconds to play. Howe just dribbles through the lane, hoping to get some contact and a foul. They let him play. 30 seconds to go. Howe under Hanson. 20 seconds, back to Howe. Colts by one, turning in the lane. Now back out, shot from 14 feet. Big bucket, seven seconds. Three-pointer on the way, and a timeout taken by Coach Chris LeGrand before the shot, 2.9, 51-48. Texas trying to hit that three to tie it up. What a timeout taken before the shot. Sam Houston will not, well, they put 1.1 second back on the clock. Now an even four. So a little bit of a time break for the Texans. They're going to bring on William Davis. Well, here's a game with four seconds to play. The Colts leading by three. Sam Houston to play it in right in front of the bench. It'll be Chris Washington at 6-3 to trigger it back in. Looking, Gibbs with one second. Three-pointer on the way off of the glass. It almost went. It didn't miss by much. Bobby Green trying to tie it up. And the Texans come up short as they lose it 51-48. The Colts take both games this year. They go to three and eight in district play and Sam Houston's two game winning streak comes to a halt. Colts win it 51-48. Chris Barrett finished with 13 points. Mike Howell had 12. The Texans tonight Paced by Chris Washington's 22 points. Colts win at 51-48. For our AISD TV production crew, until next time, this is John Nelson saying so long from Sam Houston High.